الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على السلام حي على السلام حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدًا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله تعالى وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار All praises due to Allah We seek refuge with Allah from our sins and bad deeds he who is guided by Allah indeed has been guided and he who is misguided only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide him and I bear witness there is no deity to be worshipped except Allah and I bear witness that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a messenger of Allah may Allah's peace and blessings be upon Sayyidina Muhammad upon his family upon his companions and upon those who follow his sunnah until the day of judgment. Continuing what, what we were talking about before, which is the changes, the changes that will happen and should happen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
told us about a change that should happen and then tell us about a change that will happen. The change that should happen is a change within ourselves. The change that will happen, the change that Allah will happen to what is happening to us or to a group of people, to people, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said it, to just people. Whatever is happening to you, if you don't like it, it's not going to change. Allah will not change it unless you change what's happening within yourselves. An example of that, we ask, does the change happen from the top down or from the bottom up? Does it happen because of the head is now righteous and, and everything will be fine? Or uh, the bottom has to be all righteous or mostly righteous and then things will change. It doesn't matter what the top is. But that is a discussion to be had in, in, in many different ways. But today, we'll concentrate on <coughs> what happened when the head was changed, the head of the state was changed. What happened to the people? And did they change? Or things worked out well? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about Musa alayhi salam again and, and the Israelites. Musa alayhi salam, now he is the head of the state because Fir'aun is gone. And now they are in, 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 in a different environment, different geographical area and no oppression, nothing on them that is oppressing them in any way, shape or form. But the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is coming. They are covered by the clouds all the time so the heat is not touching them as much. They are getting the, the, the water from the, the, the rocks as the rock, as Musa alayhi salam was commanded by Allah to hit the rock and the, the, the water was coming for them. And then al-mannu was salwa the bird, the quail, and the salwa, the, the al-man would come for them. So the, the life was easy life. And, and, and the provision was coming from everywhere. And the head was Musa alayhi salam. He's one of the Prophet of Allah, of uli al-azmi min al-rusul. It is one of those who are Allah have chosen from among the messengers. Okay? And, and specifically gave him a gift that he would be able to talk to Allah. And, 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 and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him directions. And he will go to his people and tell them what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said and the direction you should go. So there is nothing better than there is no exemplary life that anybody would wish. Except it, it, you'll find it there. The provision is everything that you need is there. And no oppression on you. And then the, the one who is in the head of you is getting a, 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 a words from Allah. So you know what is coming. It's coming to push away any harm and to bring every benefit. There is, there is nothing better than this. But did they change? They didn't. They passed by a town that people were worshipping idols. قَالُوا يَا مُوسَىٰ أَجْعَلْ لَنَا إِلَهًا كَمَا لَهُمْ آلِهَا that O oh Musa, make a God like, uh, like uh, make a God, God for us like they have gods. So what, what happened? After all of this, and you're not, the concept of La ilaha illallah is not, is, is not there. The, after all the miracles, after what you're experiencing now. So the change didn't come around. Okay. Then when Musa alayhi salam asked them, Allah in Allah amurukum an tadbahu baqara. Allah has commanded you to, to يَأْمُرُكُمْ to command you to slaughter a cow. Okay? What happened? Are you making fun of us? He said, she, they said. Are you making fun of us? Musa alayhi salam. I seek refuge with Allah to become among those who are ignorant. You mean, how could you ask such a question? So the attitude did not change. When they were promised to enter Bayt al-Maqdis and the, the, Musa alayhi salam told them, now it is time to go to enter. They said, لن ندخلها أبدا ما داموا فيها. Those who are in it, we will not enter it ever. Okay, when they come out, then we will enter. اذهب أنت وربك فقاتلا إنها هنا قاعدون. You go, you yourself and your Lord, go ahead and fight. We are sitting here. 
Now that is a peak now. That is a peak. That, that is, that is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling just go enter. Gift after gift after gift, now with the promises there. And they, they say to Musa alayhi salam, you go and your Lord, you by yourself and your Lord, we're not, never going to enter it. You want to fight? Go, go, go with your Lord and, and fight. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at this moment said, now you're going to be lost for 40 years. You're going to be lost for 40 years. What happened within the 40 years? A generation change. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give up on that generation. Give them the test. They fail the test. And that, that's it. There is no hope in them. They insist not change what's happening within themselves. So no change happened to, for them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stopped short of giving them what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told them he will give them. It just did not happen to, for them, but it happened for their offspring. 40 years. Now, those who were born during that time were taught by Musa alayhi salam and, 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 and those who are righteous are among them uh, and so forth. Now they have, you have the majority who understand this. The majority changed. And this now, this is when they entered Bayt al -Maqdis. But what happened before they entered? Musa alayhi salam died. And he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, at least get me as close as possible before I die. And, and he was buried close, but not entering it. So the head that was doing the work of the righteous one who was giving the wahi and so, getting the wahi and so forth, was gone. But the, the promise was there because the majority now are the one who's holding on. Are the one who understand la ilaha illallah. And when they change what's happening within themselves after they entered, they came out. They were pushed out again. Okay, why? Because they change what's happening within themselves again. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala changed what's happening to them. It was good, now it is going to take you out of this goodness. Okay. So we cannot point and say the solution is from the top down. Okay. Does that mean it doesn't matter what the top is, everything will be fine? No. Does that help? Of course it helps. But, but the, the, the issue is that the, the majority has to change. Had to be aware of this. The changes has to, to come. Now, wh what is a change? Basically, you bring it down to something. It has to change what? What is it that you want to change? Okay? That, that change has to happen with understanding. A point of understanding. And that from point of understanding, things will work out. But if, if you try to work out things without getting that point of understanding, nothing really will work. Example of that, if, if you are sick, what, what is your sickness? You say, I had a knife, I was cutting something, and I, 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 I you know, really injured my finger. That is what you're suffering now, right now. So what is the logical thing? The logical thing is to take you to someone who is specialized in this, in the cut, in the finger, in whatever it is. And you go on and so forth, right? And on and on. If, if, if you have a headache in your, your head, okay, maybe you take this, this, this and that. Okay. But now, let us say, if you are really sick all over, you have no energy, and you have a headache, and you cannot move your finger, and your speech is this, and you, 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 you cannot quite hear, and all kind of problems. Now there is an underlying issue now. There is an underlying issue. The issue is not, we're not going to take you and say, let's go to the head doctor and then go to the ear doctor and then go to the foot doctor and go to the hand doctor. We're not going to do that. Okay, because now we know there is something happening that's affecting this whole thing. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us. When you see what's happening to you, it is like that and it's not going to change unless you, you find out what is it within you that has to change and this will change? And it has to be, and it, it is a common de denominator now. It is a, a core issue. What is that core issue? The core issue is you decided that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says something you listen to. Is that it? That's it. Just get that attitude. Just get that attitude. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says something, when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says something and it is clear, 
It is not maybe this, maybe that. It is, it, the, and there is an agreement with the Sahaba in it. There is agreement of, in, in our history, in, in the scholarship and so forth. Then just have that attitude. That once that is clear, I will listen. And go on in your life. That is the change. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees this sincerely in our heart, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will change what's happening to us. Okay? And how does it change? Does it change immediately and so forth? Does it change without paying a price? Does it change without going through a test? No. You have to, to, to go through a test. Are you giving this? How deep are you? Con, like the conviction in, in us to say, Sami'na wa ta'na, we hear we obey. How, how deep is that? Right? So, how do we know? We, we know that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Mecca, as the, the, the companions were going through difficulties, right? Remember Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said what? Said, Innakum qawmun tasta'jilun. You are people, you want it quickly. Who did Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say that to? To the one who's sitting comfortable in his home and said, Ya Rasulullah, make dua for us? No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said it to the one who came to him, Ya Rasulullah, look at my back. I was tortured, Ya Rasulullah. And here is the evidence. And he was tortured. Okay? They would burn coal on the, on the, on the ground and take him. And, and, and when it gets very hot and red, they would take him and, 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 and you know, back down on, on the coal and, and rub it on, on him and, and pull him on it. And so the only thing that would put it out is, is the, the fat in his, in his body. That, that, that's what kind of a punishment to that particular Sahabi. Now that Sahabi who gone through this, Rasulullah Sallallahu telling him, إِنَّكُمْ قَوْمٌ تَسْتَعْجِلُونَ You want it quickly. Now imagine that. Okay. So, so the, the, the test is, 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 it has to be uh, 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 Rasulullah sallallahu compared this to some other test that happened before okay C- compare this punishment with, with or this experience and this trial with other trials that was more told him before you Rasulullah sallallahu was talking about the companions of Isa alayhi salam they were they were uh, uh, their skin and flesh was combed out of their bone with, with, with iron comb. Imagine that. Okay, iron comb to, to, to get the, while they are, you know, awake and well aware. Okay, they would hit, Rasulullah said they would dig a hole, put them in it, and they will, they will saw them to half, or half this way or that way, whatever, they must saw them to half while they are. Uh, 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 you know, in, in the whole and, and so forth. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was saying, look at what you complaining about and what I'm telling you about those who would happen before you. Okay, what happened to those before you. So this is going to continue. This, and, 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 and we'll see what is going to... But Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam still said what to him? That, that the, the, the openings will be there. Okay, that the, the, the doors of, of the Persians and the, the Romans and, and the land will be open for us. So give glad tidings and good news about this Islam and this knowledge will go to there and people will accept Islam there and so forth. Right? So this is, this is going to happen. With you or without you, it's going to happen. With you, then you have to pay the price. You have to go through what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is putting you through. Okay? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you for this. And, our, and, and, and this is known. But you, you, it is a process that you have to go through. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself <coughs> went to some physical harm from the Meccans. So in another hadith that narrated by Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu. Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu says that, that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was by the Kaaba making sujood. Praying and making sujood. And, and, and he was narrating this, narrating what he sees, what he's seeing. At that hadith, Rasulullah sallam did not say anything. It was hadith about Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa And then there were those standing in Mecca. 
Okay, those leaders of Mecca were standing by, close by, uh, commenting about Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, insulting him and so forth, and daring one another, who's going to do something? Okay, then one says, "I will do something," and he went and got an intestine of a, a, a camel that was slaughtered, that is, you know, stinky and, and you know, and took it. And, and put it on the top of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam as he was praying, as he was making sujood. Now Ibn Mas'ud radiAllahu anhu says, "I said to myself, 'Lau kana li mana'a, if I had a, a, a back that would, would protect me." Another word, imagine Ibn Mas'ud radiAllahu anhu standing there and, and seeing this. And the love he had to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and says, "I cannot do anything about it." Okay. Ibn Mas'ud is the one, the one that, that at one time, uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was coming out of the masjid, and he saw him sitting outside in the sun. He said, "Why, why are you sitting out? Why didn't you come in and sit with everybody?" He said, "Ya Rasulullah, I was coming." And and I heard you saying, "You sit." But Rasulullah Sallam spoke to somebody else. Did not see him outside. And he said, "When I heard that, Rasulullah, I sat." Th- th- that is how how he you know respond to the command of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Immediate response. He said, "I want to do something, but I can't." If I had people who would, because he knows that if you try to do something now. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi might be hurt even more, and he will be hurt. And there is there is nothing, you know, there is no positive will come out of this. So he said, I saw Fatima radiallahu anha, the daughter of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, coming around and moving this filth on, away from the back of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But interesting thing is, the, the, those who, who did this from Quraysh did not uh, attack her, did not bother her, because they had some kind of dignity still. They still have some kind of dignity, saying that we cannot be the one that will hurt hurt a child. We cannot be the one who who insult a woman. Okay, and on and on and on. There was some kind of a. Of, of dignity within the treatment there, without dealing with one another, even between the enemies, there were rules. Okay, that you, you know it is not written, but you know you do not go beyond that. When Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was making hijrah, and he was in his own house, we, we know the, the famous story. All those who came around, forty people, okay, wanted to kill Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. They could have gone and killed him. They could have gone inside the home. And all of them, they hit him one after another or something, and and that, that's his blood was spread all over the forty tribes, and the matter will be be done, right? Because that's what they wanted. But they was told, no, you don't enter because we don't want to be the one to say that we scared the women of the house. Did you hear? Did you hear that? Okay, why? Because there was some still, there's still some honor. Of, 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 of the rules of engagement here, of the society and so forth. I thought about this when, when, when the leader of, 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 of the, the, the uh, resistance, his, his child, his one ch- two children and, and two of his grandchildren were targeted. Children, innocent children were targeted at the time of Eid. And the one who ordered the target in the, in, with the, in the microphone Talks to him, he says, "We got them an Eid Mubarak, like that." Okay, so that 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 dignity, even of, of what a, what a human being should be, is is, is non-existence. You know what is the end of this? You know the end of this is not good for those who are committing this atrocity, and you know that those who are being oppressed. And 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 still holding on, still having their their children memorizing the Quran through all this. They still have competition of the Quran and on so forth, and still have a graduation of those who finish the Quran throughout all of this. 
You know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's rahmah is with them. You know that, that this is a test. Like all the tests that happened before. But you know the opening is coming. You know the easiness is coming. Okay? So what is, what is the role? What is our role in, in all of this? Yes, sometimes we stand like Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu and says, there is nothing I could do about this. I wish to be able, but there is nothing I could do about this. But there is some things we could do about this. Okay? There, there, is, there is some entities now that they have some kind of, of, of help that goes through. With your wealth, you can pay for this. You can help with this. Do, do not stop. Do not stop thinking about this. Do not stop getting information about this. We should not allow ourselves to sit back, okay, and go back to, you know, to the zone of, of, of just being in ghafla and, 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 and so forth. Well, that is a test for us as well, okay? How, how much are we frustrated with this news? Are, are we going to, to continue and, and be alert in this and, and make dua and, and, and find out what we can do and, and, and support them with whatever the food that they can reach them, whatever it is that they can reach in there, or, or, or giving up on, 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 on this. So we are part of the equation. We're not different body. Okay? And whatever it is that we, we do here, the obedience that we have and the change we have is affecting them. And whatever that they are doing there is affecting us. Because we are Muslims, we are together. Okay? We are the, the, the same body. So, so the, the change, we can help them by doing the change ourselves. Okay? So we'll be qualified as an ummah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala changed what's happening to us. Okay? Okay. So, so, so the, what, again, what that the, the change? That is simply with a conviction make a decision that I'm going to listen to the wahi. I'm going to listen to the revelation. I'm going to say, Sami'na wa ata'na. I'm not going to argue about any command. I'm not going to try to find out, you know, is this hadith a weak or, or is it, is it in, in a way of command or in a way of suggestion? What level of, of this and, and that? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran told us to take what Rasulullah sallallahu has given us, says, ما أتاكم الرسول فخذوه What Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa give you, you take. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not say what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa command you, you listen to it. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying whatever Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa gives you, give you. So, so you know that Rasulullah sallam said that and he's given you, you take. But whatever it is, he told you to stop, you stop. Meaning you stop immediately. You, you do not delay. Okay. That, is, that is our role. That's always been our role. And the companions were taught this and they were tested until they, they really knew that this is, this is the only way. To, to have change is to really uh, uh, have the intention to follow what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to give them. Because at their existence in Mecca, they did not have the whole Quran. They did not have the whole command. They did not have the whole, whole command about even the acts of worship. <coughs> but the issue was, are you ready to take the, the, the command? Are you committed? This contract... That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell you to sign La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Are you going to sign it as a blank contract now? Only have few surahs in it? Okay? Or you're going to wait and, and evaluate it? Sometimes we have many of us have the attitude of evaluating the command before we say I'm going to follow. The evaluation should be only of the authenticity of the command. That's what we should evaluate. But once it is authentic, then we do not evaluate anything more than that. We evaluate ourselves. How willing are we to, to follow this command? <clears throat> so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not change his promise. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala finally, That is, that is, those who were being fought against, it was, it was permitted for them now to protect themselves after a long period of time. 
after they left Mecca and they went to Medina and, and so forth. And, and what, was the, the, what happened to them? The, the difficulties they went through, they left their home, they left their loved ones, they left their wealth and so forth, and they passed the test. Sometimes we cannot even pass the test of going through a good time. At least the, the, the test of going through difficulties we can recognize. But it is easy to have forgetfulness when we are going through a good time and, and, and we're not even realize that this is as well a test. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين ورحمة الله للعالمين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعه إلى يوم الدين إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعه إلى يوم الدين اللهم أنت أعلم بما في قلوبنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا اللهم أنت أعلم بحاجتنا منا فاقضها لنا اللهم أنت أعلم بسرنا وعلانيتنا فتقبل معذرتنا اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم آت نفوسنا تقواها وزكها أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من قلب لا يخشع ومن علم لا ينفع ومن نفس لا تشبع ومن دعاء لا يستجاب له اللهم انصر إخواننا المرابطين في سبيلك في فلسطين اللهم انصرهم على أعدائك أعداء الدين اللهم إنا نجعلك في نحور أعدائهم ونعوذ بك من شرورهم يا رب العالمين اللهم رحماك بأطفالهم أطفال أطفالهم ونسائهم وشيوخهم يا رب العالمين وصل اللهم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعه إلى يوم الدين وقوموا إلى الصلاة يرحمكم الله You can come next to me, inshallah. Are we ready, Shalom? Yeah, we are good. Okay. More people can go to that side. Allahu Akbar. الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق 
الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد الله أكبر <تصفيق> سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر <تصفيق> الله أكبر <تصفيق> الله أكبر الله أكبر <تصفيق> السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام جزاكم الله خير شيخ محمد مفروض بيت الخطبة إن شاء الله have some quick reminder just in your way out we have some lunches uh, you can uh, buy some of them and also we have some date boxes uh, you can use your credit card or cash for uh, payment uh, just remember all doni all this goes to donations for the masjid as well uh, inshallah uh, we have uh, this sunday after us uh, we'll have um, Eid festival uh, here at Maryam center uh, it will be a picnic so inshallah bring uh, your favorite dish to share with the community and inshallah it will be fun for all family as well. 
uh, just updates about uh, the Islamic loan on the masjid. Uh, the beginning of Ramadan, we started as uh, 125,000 uh, remaining balance. Uh, by the end of Ramadan, alhamdulillah, we are under 60,000. Uh, may Allah bless all of your effort to bring that down. And our target is to pay it all off. So we still have a room to make more ajr and more reward and pay the remaining balance, inshallah. And uh, again, just a reminder for our halakat, we have every Saturday after Fajr uh, halakha here with Sheikh Mahmoud with Tafsir Quran. Uh, also, we have a sister the halakha every uh, Sunday at 11.30. Uh, we today between Maghrib and Isha, uh, the first class of Arabic, inshallah, Arabic. Medina. Yeah, for, yeah, the Medina book for Arabic. So those who are interested, please come on around and will be streamed as well, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay. I'm <laughs> 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 طب يا ريت قول له امتى نبدا وانا بعت له ايميل ونجيب فولنتيرز بحيث ان اول حاجه نقطع الجراس ده هنقطعه ازاي؟ الجراس احنا لا الجراس اللي جوه البوكسز هيتشال اللي بره البوكسز هنغطيه بشيت اللي هو فابريك معاه 